Hello and welcome back. My name is Rebelica and this is the 100 Baby Challenge and we are on to part 102. So in our last episode, uh, Enchilada here, he had um, aged up to an adult and he just moved out and right now we are looking for a place for him to live. So I looked at a few of the places in this neighborhood, but it is actually starting to get a little bit crowded. And so I decided that I was going to go and look somewhere else, um, not in here. So I'm going to actually go and take a look at Willow Creek. So I sped this up a little bit because um, I did look actually at, at all, all, pretty much all of the lots to see who was living there. And a lot of, uh, a lot of Enchilada's siblings are actually living in here. <laughs> um, not all of them. And that's where Gail Garland... Gail Garland's been an on and off partner for Quinn for quite some time. But they just never quite have gotten together. But I ended up deciding to move him in with this Chavez family. So, um, we do spend quite a bit of time here. And I just kind of wanted to speed through this just a little bit. So, I, I, I sped this up a bit. Um, basically, the, he's carrying an infant around. And the infant says they're still at daycare. Um... So I wanted him to, I almost had him set the infant down outside, but uh, infants can't climb stairs. So, so I decided to, to uh, bring the, the baby inside instead. And I realized that the, the family that's living here, the Chavez family, they are both uh, spellcasters. So that's good to know as a potential partners for Quinn later on, or whoever our matriarch is at the time. So I'm just trying to flirt and try to get a relationship going here. And they do seem to be hitting it off fairly well, actually. Um, they're both quite flirty, and, and their relationship seems to be going quite well. Um, oh, they're having their first kiss here already. So, um, unfortunately, Enchilada came with his needs pretty low. So, I'm um, just going to have him go to the washroom here, I think. After their first kiss. There we go. Asked to be girlfriend. Um, so there we go. They are, uh, they are a couple now. And we're going to try... See if we can get pregnant. And uh, let's see. We don't have the option here for... Uh, I did not get the option here for uh, to, to do a pregnancy test, and I wasn't sure why. I did end up looking at uh, uh, MC Con Command Center um, and figured out what was going on here, but uh, that's a, that's in a little bit. But anyways, they're still working on their relationship. So their romantic relationship is extremely high, but their friendship is still pretty low. So I'm trying to get some friendly interactions in here as well. Because um, I was hoping that they could um, get married, like propose and get married. Um, but the, I think their, their, their friendship level is just too, too low. Oh, and then he fell asleep. So anyways, we're going to try again to have a baby. Let's see what happens here. So I still can't propose. Their friendship isn't high enough. All right, so we're going to try for a baby, and let's see what happens. That's a lot of fireworks. <laughs> okay, so they are pregnant this time. And um, I looked at the time here, and it's Friday morning at 7 o'clock, 7.42 in the morning. I decided that uh, I'm not going to try too hard to propose because... Uh, 
Uh, I need to get back to the other family, our main family. So I'll just save this here and move over to um, Let's go back to our actual family that we're working on here. All right, so we are back to our, our main family for this challenge. And we only have four kids at home. So uh, guacamole, I wanted him to stop trying to go to school and do his homework first, but it was going to have him come home from school. So I'm like, ah, just whatever. I'll have them work hard when they get to school, I guess. Okay, so Ichigo still needs to learn how to crawl. We've got, we've eaten all the foods that she needs to, to eat. Um, so we'll have falafel and guacamole both study hard and see if they can get their A today. Okay, so Quinn is looking after Ichigo here, giving her some food to eat. She's kind of hungry. Quinn put her in the, in the high chair anyways, but she uh, didn't give her anything to eat. <laughs> but we're going to try to practice crawling here. I'm not sure how many, how much more, how much more practicing we need to do actually until she learns how to crawl. I've kind of lost track of how many times we've done it. At least once I know before. All right, and Olivia is on the computer right now. I'm not sure what she's trying to do. Uh, let's try painting, I guess. And because I want to, I want her to become inspired. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get that or not. Well, it looks like our gardener is here. And how is Haggis doing? So Haggis still needs to work on most of his skills. He's only got one like level one imagination like he hasn't we haven't done anything so i'm gonna have him talk to bun bun a few times because their communication skill is pretty close to being done and then go play in the in the tent and meanwhile ichigo seems to be done practicing crawling for now i'm going to do the super super efficient infant care um she needs a diaper change, mostly. But it'll feed her and clean her up and everything. There we go. Change her diaper. And then part of it is Quinn puts her down in the play mat. But I don't think she's tired. Um, maybe she's, she's just got a blue mood there. I don't know. That bicycle is still sitting in the kitchen. I don't know how many times I've told Quinn to pick it up. Oh, we got the royalty for those books. Okay, so her hygiene is low. That's why she's upset. All right, so Quinn is going to take her uh, to change her diaper. And then hopefully grab the bike and put it in her inventory. <laughs> so I guess we have to leave her for now. Haggis is working on his imagination skill. It's up to level three now. It's not too bad. We're halfway there. And so we've, we've got our sheep wandering around here still. Uh, what's Olivia going to do here? Olivia's following us around for some reason. I'm not sure why. But she's feeling intent. Oh, she's finished her landscape. Um, let's try and view it and see what happens. Oh. Uh, let's try trimming our bonsai tree. I'm not sure. I think I need to get some inspiring decor. 
All right, how's Ichigo doing? I'm, I'm going to have her scoot out into the middle of the room. Maybe not. What in the world are you doing here? It says you're trying to eat the taco, but it looks like you are holding her. And <laughs> not putting her down. So let's, let's put her down. Oh. Okay, Ichigo. Let's scoot over here. So we can't use the cushions to try to stand up, but I think you can use other chairs too. I'm not sure. I've never actually been able to, to get that to work. Not sure how you practice standing. It's not really important to the challenge, so I haven't tried it yet. But I'll have her try tummy time. She might learn how to crawl on her own. She doesn't seem to be quite as upset about doing tummy time as she was before. Okay, so we've got a goat sitting in the middle of the living room, or children's room. Uh, so I'm going to have Quinn socialize with the goat a little bit. Um, try to make friends with the goat. Milk the goat. And then Olivia, I'm going to have her go and shear all the sheep, or as many of the sheep as I can find. Um, so that we have some wool, so she can work on some... Uh, some different knitting projects. Because last time when we did the hat, she really only had a couple of options because of the the amount of wool she had of different colors. So. I actually like that. It, the, the type of wool that you get from the, the sheep, it's whatever color that sheep is. You don't have to give them treats that you have to go searching for recipes and things like that. It's a lot easier if all you want to do is knit and you don't want to have to worry about um, all the, the, the quests and stuff to get all the different treats. Okay, did that goat just faint? <laughs> it made a funny little squawk and then like it was on its back. I'm pretty sure it fainted. The goats are hilarious in this. So earlier, an earlier episode, I had a goat eat a diaper. Like, ate a dirty diaper off the floor. Um, I've seen them screaming <laughs> and fainting. It, it really is quite funny. I love them. And the way that they they hop around, the goats and the sheep both. Oh, we level five of the communication skill. Good for you, Haggis. So we just need imagination, movement, and I think potty still isn't quite finished. But definitely my favorite part of the horse ranch pack is the sheep and the goats. <laughs> Honestly, that was the real reason I wanted to get the pack more than anything else, is the sheep and the goats. A little disappointed you can't get all the different flavored milks from the, from the goats, but that's okay. I don't use them anyways most of the time. Alright, Olivia, what are you doing? I'm pretty sure you did not shear all the sheep, but that's okay. Uh, Quinn, you're very hungry still. Can you go and eat that taco that you've tried like three times to eat? I don't know what keeps stopping her from eating it. There we go, now you're eating it. Okay, imagination level five. So, let's see. We have, uh... We have lots of hay out for the sheep. So I think we're going to try crafting nectar. I mean, we've got lots of apples and grapes. And uh, we are at level one because we haven't tried it yet. So we'll see how fast we can get through level one, I guess, because of the tiny home um, bonus that we have. This is turning into a very loud lot. Like we've got sheep and goats, uh, Bawing at each other and <laughs> infants and toddlers making noise. And then there's chickens making noise. And a lot of times we have the telescope making noise. And <laughs> it's just a very loud lot. Oh, 
and try to squish the grapes. Squish those grapes. Squish, squish, squish. Oh, we acquired the nectar making skill. So apparently you can find more recipes. I don't know where you would find them other than there is one you can get from, uh, what's his name? Roberto Crinkletop? Is that it? It's like the opposite of, of Crumple Bottom. Um, <laughs> Crinkletop. <laughs> um, so yeah, you can get a recipe from him, but I, 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 I don't know if you can find more in other places or not. That'd be... That's something I'm, I'm wonder, I, I wonder if people have figured out yet. Oh, uh, let's see. Falafel is doing well. It wouldn't hurt to go the extra mile. Perhaps the weekend would be good. Oh, so he did not get an A. Sykes pop music, I'm going to say no. But guacamole did. Guacamole got an A. And we've reached nectar making level 2. We still haven't finished our first batch yet, though. <laughs> Oh, it's so close. That was it was right in the last section of the of the green. Just a little bit more. If we'd managed to get his homework done, he probably would have gotten it. Well, he would have gotten it. Uh, what? <laughs> um. Okay, where is Ichigo? Uh. There is no infant here. <laughs> That's not a place we can go to. And there's no infant here. Where is she? Uh, let's go back to Olivia, who is stretched weirdly. It still says put down, put Ichigo down. Now she's back in her arms. That was a weird visual glitch there. Well, let's practice crawling if we can. <laughs> All right, so Olivia's back at the house. Um, so we can prune a playful shape. Oh, I just thought I, I, no, I'm doing I'm re, I'm doing the voiceover after I've recorded this the video. So, um, but if I can make a playful bonsai, and then put it over by the um, kind of a weird spot for a bonsai, but like put it over by the um, what do you call it? the playground, the pirate, is it a pirate ship or a spaceship that's sitting over there? The pirate ship. And uh, then maybe I'd be able to have my kids go over there and play on the, the jungle gym while they're in a playful mood. <laughs> that is one thing I've struggled with a lot. But I could put it right near the edge of the lot there. And then maybe my, my kids would get playful moods. Okay, Quinn, how are you doing over here? Well, Falafel's done his homework. Basically, all he has to do is show up at school on Monday, and he'll get the A. So Ichigo's very sad for some reason. Why are you so sad? Okay, so she's not happy. And I'm not sure why. Um, I'm going to try practice crawling, maybe? What's going on? Oh, she doesn't like being outside in the rain. That's what it is. All right, so we're going to stop crawl practicing crawling because that's not working. Oh, she's trying to go to sleep. Pick her up. A super efficient care, which will feed her a bottle, change her diaper, and put her into one of the play mats. Uh, Bust Void Critter. Well, none of these are for responsibility, so I'll, I'll take Conflict Resolution, I think. Okay, so Quinn. I think uh, tell her to put Ichigo in the playmat. She's pretty tired anyways, so. I have no idea why Olivia took her way out there, honestly. 
Speaking of Olivia, where are you? Okay, she's focused and she's got an inspired moodlet. Oh, she's sitting at the table there. Okay. Um, inspired moodlet from having her shower, but everything else is uh, uh, focused and or boosting focused. So that's not what we want. We want inspired. Okay, so, um, oh look, there's a little sheep bouncing along. Festival of Lights has started. Uh, now she's going to go and look in the, uh, uh, the telescope, the observatory. I don't have the little telescope because I don't want my sims being killed by a meteor. Although I do think it would make it more interesting. <laughs> um, instead of the telescope, which will just give us more focused moodlets, what about... Um, let's see. I'm glad you don't think my llama jokes are getting old. Okay. So... I decided I was going to bring her to the magic realm and bring Quinn since Ichigo basically needs to go to sleep. So, so, so Quinn should be here in a second. All right. So Ichigo and Haggis have been sent to daycare. And um, Olivia, I actually wanted her to go to the... Um, I forget what it's called, the, the marketplace area. Caster's Alley. So I'm going to try to send her over there. And Quinn, I want you to meet some new people. If we can. I think we've met most of the people here. I mean, I imagine a bunch of people, like Nasser is one of one of Quinn's children. <laughs> I imagine a lot of these people are, are people who are related to us or people who we have previously used as partners for this challenge. I know a lot of people actually will kill the partners after they're done with them. And that would make things a little bit easier because my uh, relationship panel is completely clogged with former partners. Okay, so over here we have Cedric, who we just had as a partner. And... Uh, Simeon, who was one of our first partners, actually, but this person, we don't know them. So let's go introduce ourselves. We've never met this person before. So we're going to try an enchanting um, introduction, because that usually gives us a little boost to our uh, romance, romantic relationship with them. Oh, it says Haggis has reached movement level 5. Must have done that while he was at daycare. Okay, so it's still giving us the introduction. So let's try Beguile. Oh. Um, does not want to have a relationship with us like that. They just want to be friends. Okay, that was not what I was expecting. How about this Hiroko Watanabe? I have not met her yet. So let's do an enchanting introduction with her. Okay, so we did the introduction. And I have to wait for that to finish. Oh, it's still saying introduction. Okay. Um, okay, let's quit chatting with everybody, because we've got a lot of people here we're chatting with. Oh, there's Grace. Let's try this again. Uh, let's compliment appearance. Where did she go? 
Oh, that's her here in the corner. Okay. So let's come on over here and... Oh, okay. I'm going to pause this because she's walking around. And Quinn's trying to get to make something to eat. So let's try sweet talking. And then let's try flirting somehow. How are we going to flirt? Attempt to seduce. Let's see if we can do that. And she's in a flirty mood. Olivia has a pristine reputation. Okay, let's offer a rose. Um, let's go on a date. All right, so. What I've been thinking of doing for a while, since Quinn needs this for her aspiration, she needs to go and work out at a gym. So I thought we would have a date at a gym. Um, so I wanted to go to... Uh, I clicked on the wrong one. I clicked on, on San Maishino. I want to click on Del Sol Valley, but I couldn't remember which one it was for a second there. Um, so there we are, Del Sol Valley. And there is a gym in here. Pectoral fitness. It's kind of a horrible gym, but but anyways, here we are at the gym. So um, let's try our first kiss. This date's gonna move real fast. <laughs> so sit and talk to your date. But uh, I think we might move things along and try to woohoo in the shower. Um. Maybe. Well, let's work out together first. Because that'll actually help us get our aspiration there. Okay, come on, Quinn. All right, there we go. So we're done that milestone, actually. We have to... Push the limits while energized and own two pieces of workout equipment. So we're going to have to buy some workout equipment. And the push the limits while energized, uh, we're not energized right now. That's actually pretty easy to do if you have a coffee machine, though. But I don't see one on this lot. So, um, let's do woohoo. So it's not giving me the option here for try for baby. So I think the settings in um, MCCC, they tend to reset every time I install an expansion pack. So um, I'm going to have them just woohoo in the shower for now, which will help with their relationship. But I want to take a look at, at, the, at the settings. So let's, let's stop chatting and stop working out, I think. And then we'll try the shower. Well, we've already got six socializations out of this, and that's the main goal. I think if usually you get the main goal and like one other thing, and you've got gold on the date. So, I'm just going to quickly add the computer in here, and then I can check the MCCC settings. And I'm actually going to put in like. A pretty fancy computer since it doesn't cost anything for my sim this is supposed to be like the office of the gym I think or or reception area either way you probably would have a nice computer so I'm just gonna check the settings and I cut all that out but basically I did ha I did have to change some settings and I will need to restart my game in order for them to take effect so we're not gonna be able to get a baby this time um, but we can have our date So our date is actually going quite well. So we still have to socialize two more times with our date. And it says flirt with your date while flirty. And I don't know that I can get my sim into a flirty mood right now because she's pretty happy. But we could sit and talk with her date. That would not be too difficult. Oh, we got a sad moodlet for a second. 
I missed what that was. Alright, so we're going to try holding hands. Ask to be girlfriend. And let's see, what else can we try? We can try Beguile now. There. Beguile. Oh, we've already got gold. I don't even have to sit and talk or anything like that. Okay, well, we can try flirting. New partner, first woohoo, first kiss. Got a lot of happy mood that's going on here. Uh, um, live together? No, no, thank you. Not right now. <laughs> So let's see what we can do here. Sit and talk to your date. There we go, we got that one. And can we even become playful? Like we have to do some jokes and stuff, I think. That would help us get a playful mood lit. Tell a knock knock joke. Joke about fashion. Let's try the joke about fashion. Okay. You know what? I think compliment appearance, but we don't really need to do a whole lot more here. Yeah, I'm going to end the state early. Okay. Our date's over. We'll have to have another date or something soon. So I thought I'd see if I could get uh, energized here. I tried working out a little bit. I try boxing. I don't know. I also need to get some uh, workout equipment at home. Um, I might get a, a, a. I don't know if I'll get. Um, what do you call it? Uh, <laughs> treadmill, because <laughs> they take up a lot of space. I was thinking maybe getting a climbing wall. And, um, oh, who died? Oh, I missed that. Who died? No, oh, maybe I didn't miss it. Okay, who died, though? Um, from mourning a loved one. Hmm. Anyways, I, I do need to get a couple of things of uh, uh, equipment at home, and I think I'm going to get a climbing wall, and hopefully I can find something smallish. I don't know. Um, I have a yoga mat. Apparently that does not count, because <laughs> I guess yoga is not workout. It's too bad they don't have something like a chin-up bar or something like that, or a ballet bar. So I just was taking a look at the uh, fitness skill. I think we're at level eight right now. We're at, it flashed by here. There it is, seven. Okay, we're almost at eight. I feel like we do need some more workout equipment, but like everything seems to be along the same three things other than that climbing wall. Um, because we have a lot of different types of uh, um, I can never think of what it's called. <laughs> uh, what, whatever your equipment it is that she's using now, we have a bunch of those. Uh, we have a lot of the the, the boxing things um, and a lot of treadmills. So it's a lot of the same stuff. 
I like I want new stuff. So this is one of our kids here we're talking to. So I'm going to say cheer up. Because he seems to be sad right now too. Oh, I think it was his parent that died, actually. His other parent. I'm... Well, we're not getting energized here. We're just in kind of very happy. So I'm going to send her home. Well, and one like one way we can get energized at home is to drink some coffee and then go for a jog and push the limits. Hmm, I wonder if the skating rink would count as exercise or workout equipment. Probably not. We don't even have space for it. Okay, we're back. So Ichigo is getting a milestone. What did she learn? Oh, she learned how to crawl while she was at daycare, apparently. And um, Haggis just needs to finish his potty skill, which is very close. So I'm just going to send him to sit on the potty, whether he needs to or not. And I'm going to get that cake out. Because Ichigo can age up now, too, since she's learned how to crawl. And she's already tried all her food, so. Okay, you've got the cake out. And uh, let's not eat the fish taco right now, maybe. Let's bring... Um, let's bring Ichigo over to blow her candles, since Haggis is still working on his potty skill. So let's see if this works. Oh, she's crawling around like crazy. She really likes crawling. <laughs> okay, well, let's cancel those interactions, and then Quinn should be going over to pick her up. There she goes. And Haggis has reached potty level 3, so we can age him up now, too. All right, Quinn should be coming over here to the cake. And how are we doing here with guacamole? So I know it's Saturday. I could age up guacamole. I would like to see if I can actually complete his aspiration here, the creative genius. It's not too difficult to finish those off, actually. I've done it a couple of times. All right, so Ichigo's aged up and is inquisitive. Um, we gain thinking skills slightly faster. So that's good. And let's add some birthday candles. All right, and everyone's sending her gifts. And Haggis just took a piece of cake. No! Ugh, now I have to make a new cake. So I'll just put that one back in the fridge. Ichigo is a wanderer. Okay. So let's see, what kind of cake should we make? Let's cook. And I have a sugar-free carob coconut cake coming up here. Now, I'm not sure if that's a CC one or not, but I haven't made that one before, so let's make it. I've got so much CC food in my game, but I think you have to access it all through a different menu, so. I don't know most of the time whether it's really hard for me to make uh, restaurants because I have no idea if the food that I'm picking is actually one that's from the game or if it's custom content. And then once once Ichigo and uh, Haggis have aged up, then I can I'm going to go change their how they look in the mirror. All right, this confident painting. Um, I enabled its aura, but I'm actually going to move it onto the other wall. Um, 
not there because it's actually covering up the window. I just wanted to get it on the wall. There we go. Let's move it over here. I can sit above the movie port, port uh, poster, I think. Or I could put it over by the stereo. I think the stereo. And I'll have him go and dance. And that should ho hopefully get him into a confident mood. And now I can put the walls back the, the way they were. Okay. This cake should be done soon, I think. So we have no infants in the house right now. I just realized that. We currently have two toddlers, but one's about to age up into a child. It just shows that we really need to find Quinn a partner here as soon as possible. So as soon as I get these birthdays out of the way, I'm going to be um, I'm going to be en ending this and, and restarting my game so that <laughs> I, I can try to uh, um, get pregnant with the. Uh, person we had as our last partner um, whose name I completely forget I'll have to look that up all right Quinn I know you're hungry but please put the candles on the cake and help your child age up okay now we have candles now we can Help blow out candles, and we want Haggis this time, not Ichigo. She just aged up. That would not be good. <laughs> All right. Mocha mini sheep. Hmm. I probably would name that sheep just Mocha. <laughs> Oh, is he? He's not wearing any clothes. I just noticed that. I guess he took all your clothes off. All right, so he's going to be a good sim, a good child. All right, and for his aspiration, what are we gonna get? He was a wild toddler and then a good child. I guess his wild days are over. Social butterfly. Okay. Still not wearing any clothes. So I'm just going to send him over to the mirror to plan an outfit. <laughs> uh, yeah. Haggis. <laughs> Maybe you should learn some acceptable behavior. Oh, and Ichigo right now is uh, on the potty. So hopefully she will learn the potty skill. All right. So here we are in Create a Sim. And oh, he's got some nice light blue eyes. Okay. A lot of my sims have brown eyes because um, Quinn has brown eyes. So it's, it's, it's neat to see ones who have different coloring. I kind of like the sunglasses for on the beach, but uh, um, I was just trying to find one I liked. So most of his outfits I thought were pretty good. I just added some like socks um, to things. Some of them, I don't know. I don't, I don't like wearing shoes without socks, so I, Try to have my Sims all wear shoe socks with their shoes, unless they're like dress shoes that don't need socks. Yeah, and then I like this hairstyle that she's got here with the green in the middle of it. So I'm just trying to find some green outfits to go with it. Um, I spent a little bit more time on Ichigo <laughs> than I did on Haggis. I mean, a lot of her outfits were okay, but I just wanted ones that matched her hair. I think it's cute. A lot of the, the swatches look green, but when you actually look at the outfits, they're more blue than green. So. And then I like that she had a hat on, but I just wanted a different hat. I like that one. The kind of pastel colors. Okay, so I'm just was trying to find something cute. I couldn't find a, a sweater or jacket that I liked, so I just went for the full body one. Um, I love that's actually one of my favorite outfits. I love it. All right, so let's see how she does with the potty here. Oh, Olivia aged up too. Wow. So Olivia is now a senior. 
<laughs> an elder. Um, yeah. Wow. She's, she's really older than Quinn now. I guess being pregnant all the time is the fountain of youth in The Sims. And Ichigo has reached potty, potty level 2, so now she can go to the potty on her own. So now she can be an independent toddler for the next couple of days until she finally eats up. Okay, I'm going to actually end this here. Um, so thank you for watching. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to click like. And if you're new here, click subscribe and the little bell for notification of more videos. And I will see you next time. Okay, bye.